Hello fish fools, Jeff here. So this is my 3.5 gallon neocaridina shrimp tank. And here's Muchacho, my cat that I think might be part Siberian. So this little tank kit has an LED light. Hey, how's Muchacho in the way? Oh yeah, so this, as I was saying, it has a little LED light inside the, the hood, which is off at the moment. You can see I have some plants kind of floating across the top. There's, like that's an anacara stem in the back. You can see there's some shrimp, some cherry shrimp on that. And then... I can't see it here, but it's like a clump of Ricky Fluitans right there. But I'm showing this tank with the light off. And here's Creature, my other cat. So I'm showing it with the light off because this is what happens. I'm going to turn the light on and show you what happens. They have a tendency to scatter, and it's kind of funny how they do that whenever I turn the light on. So let's see. I try to reach back now. Ready? One, two, three, go. And then they all scatter. It's kind of funny how they do that. Like, which is different than turning the light on in fish tanks because the fish are react, they just. You know, they're all usually just still, like they they were in sleep mode. And when you turn the light on, you find them kind of motionless. Creature. But yeah, so this tank is doing great. The shrimp population continues to expand. And let's see, I do have a couple guppies in here so one of those they're both juvenile females there we go. All right. this one right here is a guppy on their hybrid the one that has a little bit of color in the tail and then the completely plain one right here is a wild guppy or a feeder guppy. So they're the only fish in here right now until I add, I'm going to add one of my new male lime green endlers to this tank after it spends time in quarantine. And then we'll see what kind of babies they can create funky strain crossing, crossbreeding. All right, and I do also intend to move some more of these shrimp into my 30 gallon Liber community tank as well as probably some of my other tanks. And look at all this, the su subwasser tang. You can notice that has grown quite a bit since I first put that in this tank. I set this tank up, I think around April or so. Here we are at the end of the year in December, and there's like a lot more of that growth. All right, well, that's it for now. And I'm Jeff, and I enjoy fishies, and I enjoy shrimp, and I enjoy kitties. Thanks for watching.